for on Thursday. I'll be back and I'll take a close up look at some of our local communities. That's coming up in just a few more minutes. From the Terrorism Alert Desk in Washington, I'm Lindsay Mastis. British officials say terrorism-related arrests are at a record high. 379 arrests have been made in the last 12 months. It's a 68% increase from the year before. The numbers reflect a major surge in arrests as police continue wide-ranging sweeps following deadly attacks in London and Manchester this year. Senator Rand Paul's attempt to repeal war authorizations from 2001 and 2002 was voted down by the Senate. Those authorizations are what the U.S. military relies on in fighting terror groups worldwide. But critics say they're out of date since current military operations are focused on fighting ISIS, which didn't exist in the early 2000s. The amendment was voted down 61 to 36 by opponents who say repealing those authorizations with no replacement is irresponsible and dangerous. From the Terrorism Alert Desk in Washington, I'm Lindsay Mastis. Republican lawmakers are preparing to release an outline of their tax reform plan at the end of the month. House Speaker Paul Ryan said it will represent a consensus between committees in the House and Senate and the Trump administration. One area of debate is lowering the corporate tax rate. Our chief political analyst, Boris Epstein, a former Trump campaign senior advisor and White House official, provides his commentary tonight on why he thinks it should be lowered. Tax reform is key. Overhauling the tax code is, correctly, the main focus of the Trump administration heading into the end of the year. At the center of the White House